Applications of differentiation. We're first going to do gradient of a curve at a given point. You will find this on page 265 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Applications of differentiation. Now that we know the differentiation rules or some of them, we are in a better position to investigate some applications of differentiation. In the application of differentiation, we will see how and where to apply the concept of derivatives. First one we are going to focus on is the gradient of a curve at a given point. We can find the gradient of a curve at a particular point by substituting the x coordinate of that point of that coordinate point into the derivative function the derivative function remember is the differentiated function okay let's look at an example find the gradient of the curve at this point now remember you first have to multiply out so do not differentiate each factor First, expand the brackets. Multiply, multiply, and get this. Now you can find the derivative function. You can differentiate. So I will get 6x plus 10, and that will become 0. Now remember to substitute the x coordinate. Now, what is the x coordinate? That it's 3. And I substitute it in the differentiated function. And then that value will be the gradient of the curve at that specific point and that is one of the most applications of differentiation okay i want you to stop the video and i want you to do number one and two you can continue the video as soon as you are finished number one find the gradient of the curve now let's first write down the function this is a nice one, very easy. Just to test if you can do the method. Okay, so first I'm going to differentiate. So dy by dx, and that will be 4x plus 3, and that will become 0. Okay, now I'm going to move on. I'm going to say when, because remember, what is my coordinate point? My coordinate point is 3 and 49. So when x is 3, dy by dx, and now I will just substitute a 3 in the place of x, and that will be 12 plus 3, and that will be 15. And I can end nice by saying, therefore, gradient of the curve at a point, what is my point, 3 and 7, is 15. Okay, okay, curve at is 15. Let's do the next one, number 2. Find the gradient of the curve. Now, this is almost like the example, so don't forget to multiply out the brackets. So if I multiply it out, okay, so now I'm going to differentiate, so don't forget to indicate that. And that is going to give me 10x minus 8. Okay. 
So basically that's going to be the answer of the, diff, um, the derivative function. But now, um, where the curve cross the y-axis. Now, can I just show you more or less a picture? So say for example, this and the curve, this curve cross the y, say, doesn't matter how it looks, so it's going to be a positive three. Um, okay, yes. It's actually going to be so it doesn't matter. Say it's like that. Now don't forget where it where the curve cut the y axis. What is the value of x? The value of x will be zero. So that coordinate will be zero. Okay, and you can already because it's there at three. So actually it's cutting there, but I'm interested in that value. Okay, so I can just say. And the curve crosses the y-axis, we can say, the curve crosses the y-axis axis when x is 0. Just get that correct. Is zero. Okay, so basically in the derivative function, so I'm going to say just as I say when x is zero, then dy by dx will be 10, and I'm going to substitute now that zero minus 8, and that's going to give me an answer of negative 8. Okay, so therefore, the gradient of the curve the gradient of the curve when it crosses the y axis is negative 8. Okay, and that's how you do the first application.